Example 4, identify, determine, give, or compute the following. Estimate the excess pressure inside a raindrop having a diameter of 3 mm. Surface tension of water is 0 0.0735 newton per meter. So, excess pressure, you look at the first, you watch first my lecture video on properties of fluids and perfect gas law and equation of state of gases so that you will be informed with this although in my other lecture videos i derived these formulas so excess pressure inside a raindrop is given by four, sta four times surface tension over diameter this excess pressure is also gauge pressure difference between inside pressure and outside pressure which is atmospheric pressure so it is gauge pressure so four times 0 0.0735 newton per meter divided by diameter in meter 0 0.003 meter so the unit is newton per meter square or pascals so 98 pascals what is the density in kilogram per cubic meter of a substance Weighing 750 newtons and volume of 64.4 liters. So, first we use density equals specific weight over G, where specific weight is weight in newtons over volume, and volume is 0 0.0644 cubic meter. So, specific weight is 11,646 newtons per cubic meter. Substitute, density is 11,646 divided by 9.81. So, G is 9.81. So, density is 1187 1, kilogram per cubic meter. Or, there are any other calculation you may solve for the specific gravity first times 1,000. Then, estimate the excess pressure inside a soap bubble having a diameter of 3 mm. The surface tension of soap bubble is 0 0.105 newton per meter. So, the formula for excess pressure inside a soap bubble is 8 times surface tension over diameter. So, pressure 8 times surface tension 0 0.105 newton per meter over 0 0.003 meter. So, in pascals, excess pressure is 280 pascals. Then, lastly, a uniform wooden slab, specific gravity 0 0.72, 35 centimeter by 1.2 meter by 6 millimeter thick, is placed on a 30 degree inclined surface coated with a lubricant with viscosity 0 0.04 pascal second, 1.2 mm thick. Determine the resulting terminal velocity of the slab assuming the resulting velocity profile between the fixed inclined surface and the slab is linear. So we can use the formula force equals mu area u over y for Newtonian fluid. So this is the situation where that force is the component of weight parallel to the incline which causes movement or shear force. W sine of 30 degrees. So mu area u over y. So u is fy over mu times a over mu a. Where f is w sine of 30 degrees and w is specific gravity of wood times 9810 newtons per cubic meter. We want to convert weight in newtons. Then volume 0.35 meter, 1.2 meter by 0 0.006 meter then times sine of 30 so 0 0.72 9810 0 0.35 1.2 0 0.006 meter sine of 30 degrees so the force is 8.90 newtons that's a shear force this component of weight along the inclined plane substitute because everything is known the area by the way is the area in contact which is 0.35 times 1.2 of course the thickness of the wood is 6 mm so u is 8.9 times y 0 0.0012 meter 
thickness of the coating. Surface tension, uh, viscosity 0 0.04 newton second per meter square or pascal second. Then the contact area is 0 0.35 meter by 1.2 meter. So 0 0.35 perpendicular to the screen and 1.2 meters the longer dimension. So the denominator has unit of newton second only. Cancel newton, so the resulting unit would be meter per second. So U is 0.6357 meters per meter per second.